Hey guys, today I'm going to be installing and reviewing SwagArch. SwagArch GNU slash Linux is a beautiful and easy to use Arch Linux distribution. It comes with the stable, light, and configurable XFCE desktop environment. 100% compatible with Arch Linux, so it's going to be, you know, based on Arch, rolling release comes pre-installed with the XFCE desktop environment, which I, I love XFCE, so I had to check it out. Looks like they're going to use the Calamari's installer, which uh, a lot of Arch-based distros are using nowadays. Again, XFCE, it looks like it comes with a drop-down terminal installed by default that we just press F12 to be a hero, according to their website. Their website is uh, hosted on github.io, swagarch.github.io, and I'm downloading their ISO. Their ISO is 1.2 gigs in size. Alright, so I'm going to be installing SwagArch inside VirtualBox today. So I'm going to boot directly to the live environment. It may take a minute or two for the live environment to load off this ISO. Alright, it looks like the live environment is finally loaded here really nice looking live environment you know with the XFCE panel and little dock at the bottom here uh, really cool for those of you that just want to run this as a you know live CD or live uh, DVD or live USB stick pretty cool alright now I need to find the installer alright let's see in the dock here install SwagArch GNU slash Linux so this should launch the Calamari's installer. That's interesting that they call it SwagArch GNU slash Linux. Uh, I guess they're trying to please Richard Stallman there. Alright, if you've seen the me run through the Calamari's installer, you've seen it a hundred times now. So I'm going to quickly go through here. It's already selected English, that's correct. Uh, time zone. It's got me selected for the wrong time zone. English US has been selected for the keyboard, that's correct. I'm going to erase the disk and give SwagArch the entire 15 gigs of this virtual machine. I'm going to call my username SwagArch. I'm going to give the SwagArch user a password. I'm not going to toggle on uh, login automatically. I want it to ask me for a password when I log in. Then I click next. This installer is going to run about five minutes. I'll be back. All right, that installation m might have taken three or four minutes. Um, need to reboot the machine. I'll be right back. All right, and we're booting up our newly installed SwagArch GNU slash Linux. All right. We'll wait for our login manager. Okay. Pretty fast boot time there. And we log into our live or our, our not live environment we've actually got it installed now this is the XFCE desktop environment alright well I'm gonna go do my regular review here first let's go through the XFCE menu here at the top of the page and see what programs are installed by default on SwagArch GNU slash Linux alright under accessories we have our app finder we have the archive manager for zip unzip bulk rename which is a uh, renaming utility to rename multiple files we have our calculator we have our character map we have our document viewer for viewing PDFs F search which is a file search application so well, I guess it's gonna take a minute to update the database I don't want to wait on that but anyway it's a way to find files and directories on your system accessories we also have key pass we have our LightDM greeter. LightDM is our login manager where you uh, type in your username and password to log into the XFC desktop environment. We have Light Locker settings, which is configure locking your session. Okay, I guess that's our uh, locking uh, program that uh, I guess suspends the machine, hibernates the machine. Main menu, which is editing our menu here in the XFCE menu. Network connections, Plank, which is the dock at the bottom of the screen. This is Plank. Redshift, which is a color temperature adjust adjustment tool. We have our screenshot utility. We have our text editor, which if 
is the standard text editor in uh, XFCE, it would be Mousepad, but no, they're not using Mousepad. They're using Zed, which is the standard text editor in Mate, I believe. I could be wrong about that. All right, also under accessories, we have the Thunar File Manager and we have XFBurn. The Thunar File Manager is a nice little uh, lightweight, minimal file manager, but fully functional. Thunar is a great file manager. Under graphics, we have GIMP installed and we have the Ristretto Image Viewer. GIMP is our Adobe Photoshop kind of alternative, you know, it's self, you know, free and open source and available on Linux where Adobe Photoshop of course is not available on Linux. Internet, we have the Avahi browser and we have Firefox which is our default web browser. Under multimedia we have the GNOME MPV so this would be our video player. It did not launch when I clicked it though. And that is interesting. Okay, it launched that time. Maybe I I thought I clicked it and maybe I didn't, but that's GNOME MPV. Also under multimedia, we have Pulse Audio Volume Control. We have Rhythm Box, which is the audio player that's usually installed in the GNOME desktop environment. Rhythm Box is a fantastic music player. Multimedia, we also have X, XF Burn again. That's the disk burning utility that uh, comes standard in the XFC desktop environment. Under settings, we have your usual suspects about me, accessibility, add remove software, appearance, Bluetooth, desktop disk, display file manager, firewall keyboard, menu, network, panel, power, print, Qt 5 settings, software updater, window manager, workspaces. All right, add remove software. Let me click this. Let's see what kind of graphical way of adding and removing software they're using. All right, so yeah, this uh, program here, I believe this is PAMAC. Let me about, yep, PAMAC, which is a GTK3 front end for lib ALPM, whatever that means to you guys. Uh, but anyway, to search for programs here in a graphical sort of way, you have categories here. You can break it down by categories. Say you want to search for games. Click the game sub subcategory and here is a list of all the games that are available in the repo for you to download. So that's a pretty cool graphical uh, add remove software utility. Back to the menu. Under system we have add remove software again. We have a bulk rename again. We have gparted, more light DM stuff. We have our software updater. Let's see what tool updates the software for us. That's PAMAC again. Alright, so that is our graphical uh, package manager. Then we have our system monitor, the file manager again, and then our terminal. Let me open up the system monitor. Alright, this looks like the system monitor that comes standard in the GNOME desktop. Yeah. So let's check out CPU and memory usage. I have a 6 core machine on this workstation and I gave this virtual machine 2 cores. It is using uh, somewhere around 5% of the CPU. It fluctuates a little bit. 5% uh, CPU is not bad. That's, that's pretty low CPU usage. Memory, I gave it 5.8 gigs of memory. It's using 840 megs of memory right now. That's not great for XFCE. Usually that's a little lighter, but I have opened a lot of programs in the last couple of minutes, you know, for uh, demonstrating, you know, some of these programs on video. All right, so I really like this cool uh, wallpaper they hit, they have here on the desktop by default. Let's see what other wallpapers are installed on SwagArch GNU slash Linux by default. So normally you can get to this function simply by right clicking on the desktop and you have a little context menu that comes up that uh, we can change some desktop settings but right clicking on the desktop in SwagArch does nothing and it usually does something in XFCE so give me a second to figure out what's going on here okay I was able to get a right click menu on the desktop but it's not the one I was trying to get this is the same menu basically as this menu here just you know 
you can right click on the desktop and access it. To get to this, I went to the menu here, went to settings, went to desktop, which is this program here. I went to menus and then I ticked on this first box and that got me my right click menu here, but this is for launching applications, but hmm. All right, anyway, we can use the same desktop program that I used to enable that right click menu. Here are the backgrounds I was looking for. Let me well, let's not make that so big so you can actually see the background changing. Show you some of the pictures. You know, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Really nice, uh, high quality photos here. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I could play with the wallpaper for days as I usually do on these videos. You know what? I really like the rusty chain. I'm going to go with this look. Very quickly, I'm going to go through some of the other settings stuff under settings here in this right click menu. Uh, of course, I've shown you the desktop settings. We have display, which would set uh, resolution for your monitors. Let's see what else we have. We have our, uh, hmm, let's see, the window manager. Okay, this is important here. This is, uh, Sets the window manager style right now, that, or the theme, is set to arc. But we also have several other themes available. Actually quite a lot installed by default. It's like a couple of dozen. We have uh, various keyboard uh, key bindings we could set. Well, some other stuff for focus, advanced uh, settings like window snapping, wrap workspaces when reaching the edge. So window snapping would be something like you get to the screen edge and you know it should snap into place. Kind of like I did there, just pull it up and on the side it snaps into place. Pretty cool effect. Let me open up a terminal. Now because it's arch based, you know, you can use Pac-Man in the terminal. So let me run a quick update. Pseudo Pac-Man and then dash capital S, lowercase y, lowercase u. Give it a password. This ISO was just released, uh, I want to say a couple of days ago. It, it was a pretty recent snapshot. Uh, there's actually 109 updates I can run. I'll go ahead and get that started. That's not too bad. Being a rolling release, of course, there's, you know, programs being updated all the time. Pretty much every day you can expect you know a few programs to need to be updated on a rolling release if you go a couple of weeks without updating you could have a lot of up updates so one of the things with you know updating your system there's always potential for breakages that's why you know non-fixed releases you know things like you know Ubuntu, Fedora you know they tend to be more stable distros because there's less packages being updated naturally the more packages being updated the more chance for something to go wrong now my thoughts on swag arch my final verdict love it love it it's basically arch with an easy installer very quick install too it took me five minutes from start to finish to type in username password partitioning five minutes install so a plus on the install Love the XFCE desktop environment. Love how they implemented the XFCE desktop environment. Beautiful wallpapers, beautiful theming. I love the plank dock. I love everything about it. If you were going to run Arch and run the XFCE desktop environment, this is the way to go, guys. Peace.